Yo, what is up? So, I uh, thought I'd have to do another video because there is a few things uh, that I need to mention about this installation for Wuthering Waves to literally install F-Star for frame generation and ray tracing. So, I think the issue was, I think, you need to basically load up the game, not through this launcher, but the actual shipping fault because I did notice in my previous video that I literally double clicked the shipping file to load it up. So, and I've noticed sometimes with this launcher, it wouldn't even show OptiScala. So, I think that could be the problem because I am actually using, I mean, it does work with Daria Pre 9, so you can use that, but I'm using the latest version because I was using Pre 13 and it worked. So on the latest version, it wasn't coming up with this launch shot. So I thought I'd just, just do another video. So what I'm doing here is I'm deleting the files because I'm doing a fresh installation. So I would, I'll would i show you how to do that. So we would delete that. So that I've just repaired the files. So it's basically repairing the files. I've verified it. So you would need to go in this folder, client, binaries, win64, and I'll just delete all these files below all these folders. And then I'll just repair everything, then it resets it back to the default. So we get rid of that, because I think we got you got to load up from this exe there. So I think that is what's causing some issues for some people. So... What I'll do, this is the latest version. So this is the one I'll linked. So you don't, you don't need this, you just delete that. So you would just set up Windows. So, I mean, I did try it. It does work with that. and it. I'm going to do it this way again because this is the way I've done it. So we'll do that, one, one. So I've installed that. Actually, I've, I've actually didn't put the frame generation files in. So I will have to delete that. So I've mucked it up there, but I'll should be all right. So you want the frame generation file in. So if you make a mistake, you just press Y and uh, do that. Uh, then you want the upscaler file, which is this one. So both of them files are in. So we do that again. Get rid of that. So we'll do two and up, one AMD, one DLSS. So we'll load it from it. Try that one, run as administrator. Get my overlay up. So, so then it just bypasses the launcher. That message hasn't popped up bottom left. So I've got a feeling, possibly, maybe this OptiScale isn't working the same way it was on pre-13. That doesn't usually come up until uh, you get into the gameplay, but... Yeah, so it looks like it's not working anymore using that method. So I'm pretty sure that he's not going to show us anything. Yeah, see? So that is throwing a curveball because this has happened before when I've made content and then GIT others have changed something. 
with the latest version and they've delisted like the pre 13 version which was definitely working so i'll i think i've got to use dxgi so we'll do that all right so replace files So one enter this time instead of winmm.dol which was working before but not now. Yeah, so unfortunately this sort of thing can happen. It's literally sod's law that I've done a video the other day. Everything was working on pre-13. But they've literally delisted the one I was using. Pre thirteen up to scale up, <laughs> but so it comes up now. So that is on. All right, so. That is on frame generations on ray ray tracing is off. But as, you, as you can see, frame gen is working. That's definitely working. All right. So, so that definitely the latest version is working, but it looks like you just got to basically use the XGI. So I will show it again. Open that up, and then you need to click one now instead of two, because that that was working on the previous version of Optiscala, but obviously it's not now. Because so you would need to press one enter, and then one for AMD and one for DLSS. And uh, again, if it's not working, so don't load this up. Just basically go to the folder and load it from the shipping fault. So go into this folder. I mean, you could you could do a shortcut, or you can just load it from here. Then that should work. So that is the way to do it on this version here. The, the one I linked to in the previous video. So I'll link it again because it is working. And uh, that does work. But you might as well just use this one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.